Back to the Lakers we go. Stephen A. Smith joining us now from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. All right, Steve, so much going into this game as it relates to LeBron and also the Lakers themselves trying to make the playoffs. From where you stand, your perspective, yeah. what's your biggest takeaway from what you saw in this game tonight? Well, that it's over. The Lakers season is over. It's official tonight. I mean, in my in my eyes, they lost this game to the Los Angeles Clippers. They needed to win this game. They're now four games under 500. They've lost four of their last five. They can't shoot. They turn over the ball too much. Can't hit free throws. Don't have anybody to close. And that's simply a recipe for disaster. And it's all existing on the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, LeBron James had his numbers tonight, but shot about 66% from the free throw line. There's been an Achilles heel for him this season. That was clearly the case tonight. They were rolling early, and then JaVale McGee ran into Montrell's Harrell, who came into the game off the bench and completely abused him. So much so that you had LeBron James and Rondo and those guys just rolling their eyes at him because he looked that pathetic defensively before ultimately being relegated to the bench by Coach Luke Walton. He tried to throw a bunch of guys at, at Harrell and the boys. It wasn't going to matter. The Clippers just seemed too big, too physical at times. They clamped it down on the Lakers a little bit when it counted most and again the Lakers didn't have anybody to close keep in mind they were a bottom three team in the league in three point shooting they're dead last in free throw shooting so you can't hit free throws you can't hit three point shots because you shot 26 percent tonight from the three point range and then oh by the way you can't defend how you gonna win games you know Stephen the Laker fans are prideful fan base, but they're also extremely optimistic and they think their team is always in it until the very, very end. What can sense stop, did you get inside you right Staples there? Center? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> let, me, let me stop you right there. The optimism is gone. Sitting in here in this arena, listen to the fans screaming at LeBron, listen to the fans screaming at the Lakers. There is no optimism. Any optimism that existed, it went right out the window. It's on the 405 or the 110 now. I'm trying to tell you right now. It ain't in this building. So any optimism that you're talking about that exists with the Los Angeles Lakers, you must be getting it from Bristol, Connecticut or someplace Wait, else. Wait, Steve, it hold damn on, hold sure on. ain't Steve, in L.A. Are you saying that Laker fans were heckling LeBron James in Staples Center? I'm saying that after the Lakers lost the game and he and others was walking off the court, they were screaming at him. They were screaming at the Lakers. They're not happy with what they saw, and I don't blame them. It wasn't his fault necessarily. He got his numbers, but in the end, they don't have the horses. They don't have guys that can make shots. They don't have the appropriate level of size. They're not rebounding. The Lakers fans have been forced to look at this roster and come to the uncomfortable conclusion that they're simply not good enough. They were rolling until he got hurt. LeBron got hurt on Christmas Day. They were the number four seed in the Western Conference. He goes down for 18 games. We know what happens. He's been back ever since. We see what has happened. They have lost faith in this team. They're four games under 500. They're five and a half games out of a playoff spot. The Clippers devoid of any stars whatsoever. Tell me one star on the Clippers. They're non-existent, but they're fighting for a playoff spot they're probably going to go to the playoffs. So the Clippers, led by Doc Rivers, devoid of stars, no CP3, no Blake Griffin, no DeAndre Jordan, they're going to the playoffs, but LeBron James in the purple and gold for the Lakers brand is going home unless a miracle happens. And I'm not one that's really inclined to believe in miracles. You Man, know what I'm saying? It's one thing for the Lakers to miss the playoffs last five seasons, but for their fans to start heckling their own players and someone like LeBron James, that says a lot. That speaks to the optimism being devoid there in that arena. Stephen A. Smith, appreciate the perspective, man. No problem.